the News Channel 5 Network and Out and About newspaper. This is Out and About Today. Sponsored by the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. Good evening and welcome to Out and About Today. I'm Pam Wheeler. We've got another dynamic show for you tonight. Up next in the Entertainment Outlook, Chuck will preview Greg Howard's book, Social Intercourse. And later in the show, Brent gets the details on a special project from APSU professor emeritus of communications, Ted Jones. But first, we always open our show with our Buzz About discussion. I'm joined by my co-host, Brent and Chuck. And of course, we have Zach with us. Hi. And we're so glad you're here. Thank you. And we're going to start this discussion. We're keeping it all happy. I'm so tired of Brent <laughs> and Chuck's downer topics. Uh, yeah, she's, I gotta she's keep, the pot stirrer. I, mm -hmm. I got to keep it happy. We're okay. going to start with Nashville Pride. They recently announced uh, the entertainment li lineup. Yeah. I don't know if you all noticed. I did. We yeah. did. It's nice video and everything. We're <laughs> very excited. So Wilson Phillips, JoJo, Shelley Wright, a social activist and, of course, country music singer, came out. How many years ago was that, Chuck? Probably three years. At least three or four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. something like that. Yeah. Grand. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, first, let's start with, boy. well, we've got a bunch of entertainment guys here, but Chuck, let's start with you. What do you think of the lineup? Are I you? love the lineup. I mean, we were talking about before we came on, Wilson Phillips. Yes. I think they will be such a huge draw, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, you know, once they get up there, I think you will just see a huge crowd. And then also, I just got to say, Steve Grant, I mean, the more I listen to his music, I mean, he's, you don't just look at the kid. I mean, he's, he's, a really, he's good. Yeah. Right. But yeah. you do look at him, too. Right. <laughs> you don't just, but you do. Uh, Are you excited, Zach? JoJo! <laughs> I hosted her show one time at Wild Horse on 2nd Avenue, and she's like the sweetest human on the entire planet. So Excellent. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, that's so good to hear. Yeah. And Brent, you're just like, eh. No, I'm excited. I, 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 you know, Wilson Phillips is there for me. I, as soon as it came out, I just, I still got hold on for one more day, like playing through my head. I had to go and watch the video where they're rolling around on the beach. It just, I love it. I'm so, I, I'm so excited they're gonna be there. And I think you're right. I think last year, who was the throwback artist last year? It was um, uh, TLC. TLC, yeah. yeah. And so, I mean, just, I think that people just feel nostalgia. They feel comforted by it. So it's, it's cool to see them. Yeah, and I do want to mention that next month we're gonna do, we'll, we'll only well, run full, yeah. Yeah, yeah. full lineup, full coverage of Pride. It'll run every weekend uh yes. but i did want to tease that right though i mean i'm so glad that yeah. she's finally at pride yeah, yeah. i mean at yeah. national pride especially yeah. yes yeah. right yeah me too okay so continuing on with our happy feel good stories headlines <laughs> um high school sweethearts go to prom together we've got a picture of these two Look little sweet that. guys oh my gosh. a swimmer and football, and a football player, player. what and, more do you need and it's interesting one of the young men he came out and then of course um, the Westboro Baptist Church turned up to protest uh, them. And so, <laughs> I mean, I, I know. I'm about to go crazy on Westboro Baptist Church. <laughs> I'm about to show up at their door and act like their mother. Why don't you? <laughs> Get it on video and we'll show it. Yes. <laughs> well, remember they, they built the Pride House across the street from them? Remember that yes. story? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah, I mean, that's I, what you gotta I, do. I, but it's such a tender story. I mean, we were saying earlier, could you imagine like going to prom and seeing that? I mean, it, it's so sort of, a stereotypical too. I mean, it's two young men. They're both athletic. They're both there together. Everybody's happy. It just it's, it warmed my heart. But I also noticed uh, to be the downer on some of their tweets. Yeah. Uh, but this was actually a good thing. But they were saying no matter how much hate is sent to us and protested against us and that sort of thing, we don't care because we're happy and we're going to prom and we're in love. And I'm and like, see, good that's for the them. thing right there. That's like it's that internal lack of like guilt and, and, and suppression that I think is is wonderful for them to have. Because I couldn't have imagined being that brave in oh my high gosh, school. No. I know. Yeah. And that's what when I read some of the comments these are some of them this was my teen gay boy dream i'm so excited to see it realized for them uh would have loved to be able to date in high school yeah. I, mean, I was about to say like i am like pretty recently out of high school and i couldn't even like take a boy to prom in high school so i think it's like really encouraging to see somebody that young to be that brave yeah. and be like look here i am world well, and, and you, i where love did you my go to high school mount juliet okay yeah. yeah well and in some of the pictures too on their instagram feed it was neat to see clearly they've been dating for a while they traveled together so i mean everybody kind of already knew them as a couple so it almost seemed just normal yeah again right. there's that word that they would go together and i just want to do a shout out to our viewers since we are in prom season if we've got <laughs> some gay couples that went to prom here locally we want to hear their stories yeah, find yeah. us on social and maybe come on this show and great. tell us i, I love, love it, it. That would be maybe awesome. i'll host show, a whole show on prom dates I'm do serious. we have to get outfits can i wear a tuxedo we can we can do whatever <laughs> we want like to dress up <laughs> so now this is a perfect lead-in to the miss america 2005 who got gay married 
in Alabama. <laughs> oh my God. I, I mean, mean, think about it. Beauty and she queens. went to a Baptist university yep. and the whole university apparently just loves her, Deidre Downs. Um, and, but now of course they're waiting for the Southern Baptist Convention to weigh in, but oh, who cares blah, what they say? Blah. Right. <laughs> well, I just wonder, do you guys have any comments on both these stories? We talked last week and Brent's buzz about, about normalcy yeah. in that movie Love, Simon, that you know, it's, are we, is everybody so happy because, I hate to say it, but these are normal looking, they look like they're everybody. They're very attractive looking. Very attractive. They're literally beauty queens. Yeah. So, well, I mean, <laughs> there you well, go. There, yeah. 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 I, I yeah. missed that, I guess. I, I think, mean, she's gorgeous. I mean, yeah. she is. I think that it would be different if there were like a female couple getting married in Alabama that there would not be nearly as much support if they weren't like literally Miss America. Right, right. Like in that to me is a little bit disappointing but at the same time it's cool that they get to be like this is our sense of normalcy and so hopefully it'll like abdicate for other lesbian couples yeah. in Alabama to be like look we're gay well, too. Inspire those folks who are lucky enough to have been a beauty queen. Yeah. But yeah I think and I also think though too with the Miss America it seems to get so stereotyped as one way. Yeah. Well this way it kind of breaks that mold. It's yeah. like you know what you, you can be a Miss America and you can also be a lesbian. I know it's only, I know it's <laughs> only good and only awesome and Miss America uh, ended up the organization tweeting congratulations. Yeah. To me well, that, they should because it's run by Hello Family. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that, so but is I, Hollywood but then nobody's well, out. Exactly, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Gosh, it makes me mad. <laughs> so we only have less than a minute, of course, but I want to talk about Joy Reid, who's uh -huh. been stripped or she was never awarded her PFLAG Rescinded, Award, yeah. e Equality in Media Award. Do, should that have happened? I mean, we're going to close on this. So do, I don't do you, know that they should have stripped her from the award. It was 10 years ago. I still think she does a lot of good. We are all entitled to a, a, a something we've now and again. Up. I mean, we've, we've yeah. messed I've up. Said yeah. some terrible and I don't things. think the, like the, the comments were <laughs> like that <laughs> offensive. I mean, come yeah. on. I don't really either. And, and I think, but the organization that took it back, I think they almost just kind of said, well, now with this, we've got to investigate it, so we're just going to take it back. So I'm like, mm. fair yeah. point, fair yeah. point. Maybe we'll talk about this again. Thanks, guys. We're all already out of time. <laughs> so the inter Entertainment Outlook is next. Chuck will take a look at Greg Howard's book, Social Intercourse. Stay with us.